how to improvise using one idea i think modal tunes can kind of be deceptively difficult and this idea that i would like to share with you today is something that's going to be very helpful for you not only for modal tunes but i think overall with improvisation now when i'm speaking of modal tunes i'm talking about a song like nardis for instance which is the song that we'll be dealing with in this video when you look at nardis it's in the key of e minor goes up to f major and then it goes to b7 now these are all chords that are diatonic But this is like F major is like a sub five B7 which is the five of E minor C major is the sixth in the in the minor key A minor is the four chord and so forth you get the idea now one could totally play E minor the scale over this whole thing not only the scale but i would like for you to also think about the chord so basically the chord one if someone were to give you a chord you should be able to break down the chord into many different pieces now this tends to be easier with dominant chords because dominant chords are quite complex but when it comes to minor chords it's not really as straightforward. The whole idea is to create tension and resolve tension. And how we do that is we look at all the cadential points that can lead us to E minor. So for instance, the B7 is the 5 of E minor. B7 into E minor, which means that when we're improvising, we can play a B7 kind of a scale or a line or into E minor. What about looking at flat 7? flat seven would be the D seven, right? And what about chord four? Chord four is also another type of a resolution, four to one, which we do find the A minor here. But also, what about the relative major of the minor? Relative major of E minor would be G major. So whatever credential point works for G major will also work for A, for E minor. So for instance, take something as simple as a 2-5-1 in the key of G major, A minor 7, D7. But now instead of resolving to G major, we resolve to E minor right so these are all the little uh push pull ideas that we are going to use in order to leave e minor and then come back into e minor and because the song is modal those really the points of coming out and in really we can get away with those just being the 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 target while we are improvising so that's what i mean by using one idea we're literally sticking to e minor but we are breaking down e minor into different ways of thinking about e minor i could focus on b7 which means i'd be focusing on the five to one progression so while the melody is this whole song what i'm going to be thinking about mainly is i'm going to be thinking about targeting chord five going back into to e minor but now you also want to use your ear because just because of the fact that it's diatonic doesn't mean that we just want to do things carelessly it also means that we want to see the movement of the progression and that will sort of also align uh, us as to where or how to resolve or go out of the e minor and if that, that kind of makes sense B harmonic minor 5 since this song is kind of alluding to harmonic minor I'm putting a passing step between 7 and 1 
here I was literally using I'm literally using the B7 so all the all of these notes that I'm choosing are belonging to B7 And so forth now what about if I take for instance the idea of using the relative major that would be a minor to D7 to E minor 7 so I'm gonna target probably mostly because it's a minor key I'm probably gonna be targeting mostly the 4 to 1 which is the A minor the chord 2 in the key of G major What I like to do is to use mostly patterns. I don't know. I tend to like that sound and it works pretty well for songs like these. So for instance, if I'm using A minor, I could totally use like A Dorian. But I could also make use of patterns. Or but I could also treat it as like a bebop. Um, kind of a thing you know like literally treating it as a 2-5 to G major but obviously would be resolving to E minor Outside of using things like relative majors um, and other cadential points, we also want to just take E minor, like in its in its pure state, I guess, um, and be able to play different lines, just that just lines that surround E minor without thinking about other chords. This, I think, you would have to do a lot of transcribing. Transcribing tends to help a lot with this. But I can show you some ideas that will definitely help. So things like arpeggiating, diatonic sevenths within E minor or G major. Just overall bebop lines that just surround E minor will actually work. So for instance, if I've got E minor, I could do... Or... Or I could do... I don't know. These are all things that really I'm using just E minor in a creative way. So let's see what we can do. Let's just use E minor. Because of the fact that this is diatonic, we can get away with just thinking E minor on its own. Maybe some diatonic sevens as well. 